some of you may be familiar with the mobile phone charging technology that, that you place a phone onto a charging pad and you then charge your mobile phone without having to plug it in. Uh, other people may have a, um, an electric toothbrush that you place on a, on a little support and it will charge. Uh, both of those systems are indeed wireless power delivery systems, um, but they only work over a very, very small gap. And what we're trying to do here is work on broadly the same technology, but make it much more capable. And so what we're essentially doing with our research is making inductive power transfer systems that can operate over much larger air gaps. And we think that once they can operate over large air gaps, they become much more useful for lots of different applications. And, and actually, the drone technology that, that you can see here being wirelessly charged is one of those applications. So the, there's two main challenges. The first one is how do you develop the, how do you generate this magnetic field uh, and all the um, electronics behind it. Uh, uh, and then this, the second challenge is how can you put all the electronics on board the drone, make them very small, compact, and very lightweight um, because the drone can't lift uh, too much weight. So you don't want to be adding a lot of weight on the, on the drone. Um, so this is what the, uh, uh, these two challenges we managed to um, solve them to a certain extent so our uh, transmitter here can work very very efficiently at very high power levels um, and also as you see on the drone here we are being clever here by using the guard uh, around the drone as the re receiving antenna and all the electronics on board are very very small such that they, they don't add, add weight to, to, to the drone uh, so this is what we are what we are uh, developed and uh, and this is the challenges that we've, we've overcome. With drone charging ideally you would like to have a much wider uh, range where you could charge the drone over and, and this will charge within about one coil diameter so if you look at the, the size of this you've got basically a distance between the transmit coil and the receive coil that is about one coil diameter so up to about here. Um, there is a kind of fundamental limit as to what you can achieve in terms of distance. We think we can probably push it to around two coil diameters with improvements to the technology. So that means if you want more range, you need a bigger coil. So a bigger drone will be able to go further away, or a bigger charging pad means you'll be able to go further away. But I think realistically what we're looking at here is a technology that is lightweight enough that the drone can carry the receiver equipment, it can land on a charging pad, it can charge and it can fly away again. And that massively simplifies the charging mechanism for an autonomous drone system.